Hey guys, we just got this sushi kit off Amazon. We're gonna unbox it for you guys, try it out, see how it works. Let's check it out. So first we're gonna put the seaweed in the bottom of the tray, right? Yeah, can you really make uh, sushi in the shape of a heart? love to make sushi at home. All of our kids love it and it gets kind of expensive to go out to sushi with our whole family. So we started making it at home. We actually started with this little bamboo mat where you just roll it yourself and um, it's kind of difficult sometimes to get it to roll nice and tight. So we saw this really cool sushi bazooka and this is really fun. We actually did a video showing you guys how it works and we love this. It just gets a little time consuming when you're making sushi for five people. Um, we did a video, go ahead and check that one out if you're interested to see how this works. This handy dandy little sushi bazooka and Ben is putting the sushi on the seaweed and we're going to wrap it up. We've already got those ones over there made with rice, yummy sticky rice, imitation crab meat. Yum, I'm so excited to eat. And there's actually a link down below to both of these products on Amazon. And we'll have a link also for this new product if you're interested in checking out any of these products uh, at Amazon. So the reason that we wanted to try out this new product is Emery had a birthday, our oldest daughter living at home. And this one looked really cool to us because what you do is you just lay the, the seaweed in, add your toppings on top, and then you just cut your sushi into several different um, shapes. It looked really cool. I thought it was something that she would like. And so she we're gonna, loves sushi. Yeah, she loves sushi. So we're going to try it out for you tonight. Um, this one comes with 11 different pieces in the kit. Um, easy instructions come along inside. We'll see if we can figure them out. And this one is cool because it actually has the pieces to make heart shapes, um, a round shape, uh, two different squares, a large and a small, and also a pyramid shape. I thought it was kind of fun. So we are going to check this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see everything that comes inside. So the first thing you get is the instructions. It tells you everything that comes inside, exactly how to do it. And you get a knife, which is nice, to be able to cut your sushi into pieces. And you're gonna get all the different pieces. Uh, these are the parts that actually mold and hold your different sushi rolls before you cut them and mold and hold, mold and, hold. and you're going to be using this to put down it looks like this is going to be one of the round pieces it's round on the top and to press them down into place so it comes with several of those to help you um, here it looks like we've got uh, either the heart bottom or maybe the pyramid bottom this one looks like the heart top so it's basically like a guide for your knife? Yeah, and then it shows you exactly where to cut the cut each piece of sushi. So it's exactly. a perfect size. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And then you've got a scooper for your rice and a little spatula to put everything right into place. So there you go. So we are going to read through the instructions and see if we can figure out where each piece goes and how to create some really cool shaped sushi. <laughs> ready we have our rice we have everything cut up we like to do California rolls so we have crab and avocado we have uh, cucumber and we even like to put some cream cheese in ours we'll put, oh, you put that on top right put this on here okay and then you layer it inside you make a little bed right. okay so now you're gonna put some rice in the bottom it says fill half full half full with rice and push it down Just in. Fill it all in there. And it has this little piece that you can... Press it down. Yeah, you make a groove. And then you make a little groove so that you can add all your toppings. So you can get in the groove. Get in the groove. You messed up my groove. You threw off my groove. And um, you got to be careful because the seaweed is fragile. Like if you don't want to break the outside of it. Got to be nice and gentle with it. And you want to be smooth too because if you have like gaps in the rice, you'll have a little hole right there, you know? You think yeah, that's enough? Good. Yeah, you want to press it down. Okay. And, yep. So we got it halfway full. We're gonna press it down. 
That's kind of neat, this little groove thing. In fact, the, the bazooka one has a groove too. It has a little, that you groove it out. Cause that way it pushes it down and you can fill it in with the, wow, this rice is really sticky. Sticky rice is the best it's, for sushi. Yeah, Let's look at that, that's awesome. Okay, perfect. So you see that, it's like got a little groove on there. And that way it just. And it's great with sushi cause you can add whatever toppings you want. You and can we even, have, oh, go ahead. Sorry. You can even make them um, specific for each kid if they want specific toppings in there. Now you just stuff it with the crab. We're doing crab and cream cheese and avocado, which is California right there, right? Or does it always have the I cucumber? I don't think too? that uh, cream cheese is part of cream cheese then. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a different roll, but we like the cream cheese in some of ours. Maybe we'll do the some cream variations. cheese is the Philly. Oh, when it adds when you add the cream Philadelphia. Cheese. Yep. Philadelphia cream that cheese. Right. Yep. Okay. I think that's so now, yep. So now we add some it. more rice on top. So you put so we filled it with the toppings. Whoop. There you go. And it's cool, it has these little grooves like we showed you earlier. So that's how a, you're gonna cut it. The cut line. But you don't want to open it like I just did beforehand, or it moves <laughs> it on you. And then you just it has this little spatula so you can kind of Spatch it on top. Spatch it. That's Spatch a good word. it. Spatch it. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? <laughs> All right, looking good. So once you get your rice in, you're just gonna fold down your seaweed like you're tucking in a little baby in its bed. So, well, the instructions didn't tell us to do water on the seaweed. But I've always, every time I've made sushi, you do a little bit of water because it helps it the seaweed stick together. So we have this little bowl here. And you just, are you okay if I do that? Yeah, go ahead. And you run your fingers across. I kind of messed this up, guys. I'm sorry because when I lifted that up, it, it shifted on us. So um, hopefully it turns out better. He also stuffed this one pretty, pretty good. It is stuffed to the max. Oops. I wanted it to be clear full, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. See how cool that is? With the little heart grooves on the top. See. Press it down. You make the shape. Very cool. There, you see that? That neat. It's got two humps. <laughs> it's a camel. Okay, so now all you do is you follow the guides, the little slices on the side. So Use I always, a trick I do is not start at the end because it, it tries to push out. So I kind of start in a little bit. So with the sushi too, like even the sushi itself, it starts to gum up your knife. So. Water is your friend with sushi. You always want to. Seaweed, yeah. Yeah, with helps. the seaweed, with the rice. It puts all gummy on your knife. And you just really want to be, you know, delicate. Just makes your seaweed a little prettier. Because if I was just to go ram into that, then. Oh, well, that one's getting away. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Off like that. And it's kind of cool because it's just all sitting in there and you can just flip it onto your plate and lift up and everything's cut symmetrically. And then uh, you can actually flip it over for the the, the heart side. So it's not the the best heart, but I they're think still it's so fun. Cute. It's different than just your traditional round, right? Yeah, and they're actually cut so much prettier than any other sushi that we've ever done. That one kind of got messed up, but so these are just the hearts. We're excited to try all the other shapes. They have what square and, and circle too. Square, circle, and pyramid, and two sizes of squares. So. Anyways, yeah, right, we're gonna make some more. It's kind of tough, but we tried. <laughs> Pretty cute. So the best thing so far that we found is that uh, there are actually three different shapes, and we can be working all at the same time. So this time we didn't wet the top of the seaweed. This is just a circle one that I'm doing, but it is cutting a whole lot better. The seaweed isn't getting all gummed up from it being wet, so it's cutting a little bit nicer. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is cut through this one and then try to reshape it with the circle afterwards and see if that works a little bit better than the... Just doesn't stick to the knife as much. Yeah, then it doesn't rip the seaweed from the seaweed being wet. So it's still kind of deforming the seaweed a little bit when I'm cutting as far as the circle shape, but it's actually cutting through the seaweed a little bit better. It's not as pretty from the so, top, but once you flip it upside down, it actually looks better. Let's see. And this again, this is just a circle one. Mm -hmm. So this is going to end up being my other side because it ended up being kind of ugly. And, you know, this wouldn't work as well for the heart. But for the circle one, 
Oh, it kind of ripped there. Pretty. Oh, but yeah, it did it's a little rip. prettier. I think my seaweed was actually ripped when I put it in here. That was That's too bad. a pre-ripped seaweed piece, but. So I say you gotta be careful, they're fragile. Yeah, seaweed is very fragile. Anyway, these ones look really pretty. So there you go. We've got some heart ones. We've got some tiny little squares, some circles on the edge. This is a really fun product. Mm-hmm. 